this morning I am walking to the national road to hitchhike to Cape Town. I'm not going to lie, I am dreading the prospect. My previous hiking experience didn't go great. I am excited to go to Cape Town though, the most beautiful city in the world. I was advised by the people at the truck stop, they said most of those trucks don't go to Cape Town. My best chance is to stand here next to the main road, the N1 National Road, and try my luck here. So let's hope for the best. I'm a bit uh, apprehensive after the last time, but uh, hey, it's a different day and uh, hopefully a different outcome. So I stood here for about, I don't know, two hours, got a lift with these guys. They say all the way to Cape Town, so that will be really cool if we get there today still. I was a bit worried because it's a slow day, but I uh, got a lift, so let's see. Arrived in Lanesburg. It's been quite a few hours now, the whole afternoon, and the car, the sun is starting to set. But I'm very lucky because this guy is going into Cape Town itself. So I was worried he was going to go outside Cape Town and it's a problem to get into Cape Town. But I, yeah, I got a very lucky lift. I'm very lucky. One lift all the way into Cape Town. We dropped the other guys at Lanesburg. Just arrived after a long day on the road in Cape Town at my destination and my first three notes of accommodation is at Zebra Cross and Backpackers. Nice and central in Cape Town, looks quite funky. I'll show you a bit more tomorrow about how it looks here. And it's actually not far from my favorite bar which is cool. So yeah, here we are in Cape Town. I'm gonna take it easy tonight, I'm tired and tomorrow the vlogging about Cape Town will commence. Welcome to my very intimate inner sanctum of vlogger life. It's my first day in Cape Town. It's a bit of a gloomy day. But yesterday was this wonderful sunny day. And it's quite warm actually for this time of year. So I got upgraded. I was supposed to stay in the dorm. But I'm in this double room. Which is very functional and perfect. That's all I need now. Usually after a hard day's travel like yesterday, I just need to lock myself in and just kind of recuperate because it's hard to travel next to the road like that. Long hours standing in the sun uh, and stressful because you always feel a bit insecure because you don't know who's going to pick you up. It could be anybody. You know? But it turned out okay. And uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to edit mostly because it's a bit of a gloomy day outside. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the backpack and then I'll just a walkthrough. Then I will give it a full review um, when it's, it's more sunny and it just, everything is just a bit more bright and sunny and it looks better. So then I'm going to start showing you my favorite places in Cape Town and Cape Town in general. Cape Town, city life, just popping out to get some basic stuff quickly, just a bit of coffee and stuff, and you literally walk out of the gate, cross the street, take the first left, then you're in like a very central part of Cape Town, and uh, there's shops just down the road here, it's a few hundred meters, then you're at the main Kloof Street, where there's a lot of bars, a lot of nightlife, I'll show that to you and shops and everything you need them. Nice thing about this backpack is it's very close to everything in Cape Town, in central Cape Town, but it's not right at the center because it can be extremely noisy in the center of Cape Town and just too busy. So this is very close to everything. It's walking distance and everything, but it's just a bit on the side, which I like. It's gonna take a while to get used to all this bustle again. But yeah, it's not even five minutes walk and I'm at the shopping center. Just gonna buy some bread and coffee and go back and edit. I 
only have one problem, they only have a Woolworths in here, which is quite expensive, it's too expensive to my taste, but there is a, another supermarket that's not far away, which is the spa, which is way more affordable, just a bit down the road. Being a coffee snob, I wish I could afford real coffee, but sadly I can't. So I'm just gonna take some cheap coffee and milk and sugar and that's it. of Cape Town. I love this city. In the kitchen and I got eggs, small bottle of oil, bologna and shitty coffee. What more do you need for a happy day in Cape Town? The good news is that the sun came out and I'm about to walk down Long Street. This is possibly the most iconic and well-known street in Cape Town. And this is a day walk, so Long Street in the day. During the day it's a lot different than Long Street at night on the weekend. So this is the day version and then later in the vlog I'll walk down Long Street at night as well. So it's well known for its restaurants and its bars and its pumping vibe on weekends. And yeah, it's just right in the middle of Cape Town and everybody knows Long Street in Cape Town. If you come here, you come to Long Street to check it out. But obviously it's possibly not the safest street in the world, but it's also not so bad. I mean, I walk down there often, two or three o'clock in the morning and I'm fine. But um, it is a big city and it's... There are a lot of dodgy characters and drug dealers hanging around like in any city, any famous street in any big city. But let's check it out. Long street during the day. This is something that's starting to stick its head out and but in Cape Town the last year or so is these hedgehogs, like this little Amsterdam one, this is one of the first ones I think, but I see them popping up all over, not only in Cape Town but in South Africa, so the, the marijuana, legal marijuana thing is rolling on nicely and this is one of the nicer ones, lots of birds. Uh, let's check it out, the little Amsterdam hedgehog. Hi guys, I'm Thibaut from Little Amsterdam. We're a bong sailor, we do wholesale retail. We've been around for 20 years, 21 years this year. Uh, we're one of the first bong shops in the country. Welcome to our shop. Nice guys and a very wide variety of bongs and how weird this world is because finally marijuana is legalized but now we have more war and violence than ever before. I don't know for how long. So yeah, suppose that's just a balance of things, eh? I don't know. Is that ironic? I don't know. <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> so Cape Town is a very arty place. 
It's basically the artist city in South Africa. And in Long Street, you'll get some artist stuff, bars, nightclubs, and a lot of African curio type of stuff. So you'll get the same type of African thing in a waterfront also, but a bit more classy. It's a bit more on a different level. This is more like on a street level. But yeah, if you're into African stuff, you'll get these shops all over here. We will do the nightlife part more in the night. Now I'm just going to do some normal stuff and give you a quick overview. You have to be careful down here for pickpockets and people that might want to rob you. That will happen. There's a lot of security guards these days everywhere on Long Street. But still you have to be awake. And I'm going to show you one or two tricks people do. But at least one trick that people have been trying to do to me a couple of times. And I'm going to show it to you and and if this starts happening to you now, somebody wants to rob you. I'll show you a bit later. So you'll get these African type of shops selling African curious from all over, all along this long street. So if you're into this, you just walk down here and you'll find them everywhere. And you can haggle a bit. This is one of two kind of biggish places that sell Indian food and this is the one in Long Street but I will not recommend this one. The other one is just much better quality and better service and better everything. And I'll show you that one but it's not in Long Street, it's not far. I will go have a, a lunch or a dinner or something there because it's really cheap and affordable. And that's the best Indian place to go to. Indian type of takeaway food place in the center of town. Behind me is Green Market Square, which is a market, a very old and famous market in uh, Cape Town. But I did a full vlog on this place, so I'm not going to do anything again. I'll see if I can put a link up here or whatever, and then you can check out a full vlog about Green Market Square. It's already done. You can check it out. You're on a corner, 81 on Long, corner of Short Market Street and Long Street. It's like a tourist place official place where you can jump on a bus, an open top bus, go check out town and everywhere and get some tourist information. Let's just go check it out quickly so maybe they can tell you what they do exactly. Hi, my name is Robin and I work at City Sightseeing where we do sell tour tickets for Cape Town where you can hop on, hop off and see Cape Town. We've got two different routes where you can see through the city and around the coast and outside the city and around the coast. Some of the highlights are Cape Town, Waterfront, uh, Table Mountain, Kirschenbosch, Howe Bay. We also have full day tours going to Cape Point, Winans, Stellenbosch, Paul, Franschhoek, Wine Tram as well. 
and we also have boat rides available at the aquarium. That was just a very short look at uh, Long Street during daytime. It's a bit boring during the daytime. We will walk down here again at nighttime. It's a bit more exciting, a lot more pumping vibes. A nice high energy vibe here back in the backpack as we're having a braai here. There's a fire burning and uh, happy times. That's what I love about backpackers. People getting together from all over the world and talking and braaiing and having drinks. That's going to be cool. Hello, uh, sir. What's your name? My name is Juanjo. And uh, what are you doing here tonight? Just hanging out? Tonight I'm painting. Painting? Yeah. Oh, is that yours? I was uh, sketching. Nice. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. There is a bright happening out there. It's a bit dark there, so I'm just tuning in. It is happening and it's fine. I'm sure you have many questions like what am I listening to? Why don't I have any vegetables on my plate? And what's for dessert? So I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm listening to corny 80s music. I just finished the song Toy Soldiers by Martika. I love that song. What can I say I'm a corny guy? And there's vegetables on this plate, but there's subtle uh, nuances in food, so this this is the vegetable part of the chicken and uh, this is the meat part of the chicken yeah. and uh, this is the dessert obviously so let's finish this and let's go to see Point promenade in Cape Town, popular with dogs and other animals. What can you do here? You can take a nice walk next to the ocean and relax and philosophize about life, the universe, and whatever you want. The Sea Point Promenade starts at Muil Point near the waterfront and runs along the water's edge through Sea Point. It is a popular place to take a walk, a jog, or a cycle with or without your dog. I love it here, especially in summer. It is a great place to observe the sun setting over the Atlantic Ocean.
behind me here is the amazing staff of the Zebra Crossing Backpackers. Did a great job, very friendly. Come here. Okay, hello. Hello. It's a bit noisy around here. It's Cape Town. There are people working all over, like any city. So I just got some lemons. I got three, three lemons from this beautiful lemon tree in the garden of the Zebra Crossing Backpackers. And uh, yeah, man, it's not often you get something for free in the city, you know. <laughs> so, this is my quick review about this place. I had a very good stay here. The beds were comfortable, the mattresses were comfortable. That's the stuff I look for. It was neat and clean. The staff were great. Very friendly. We had a nice braai in the beginning. They have a nice core, the esprit, the staff. They have meetings regularly and they're just a bunch of cool people. Uh, the location is cool because it's very close to everything. You can walk to everything in the city. It's kind of in the middle to the upper cliff here and the main city. Uh, it's no problem walking anywhere. It's nice that it's a bit on the side, not in the main city, in the middle. It's close, but not in at the center. So it's a bit more, less traffic, like heavy foot tra traffic and stuff. So, so I had a good stay. And a thing I always look for personally is a braai. I always look, is there a braai? Because I like to braai, man. I'm Afrikaner. I'm a South African Afrikaner. We braai. We barbecue. That's what we do. There's a braai here, a little table outside here. And uh, I, I had a good and comfortable stay here. And I want to thank the staff of Zebra Crossing Backpackers here in Cape Town for uh, being so friendly and treating me so nicely. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Shout out to you. It's a beautiful sunny day in Cape Town. It's like the perfect day. There's no breeze, the sun is shining. I'm walking through the company gardens towards the CBD of Cape Town. Uh, the mountain is there at the back. At the back also is the South African Museum and Observatory. And we call Cape Town the Mother City. It's our mother. It's a beautiful vibe. And I'm just going to show you the CBD, the central part of Cape Town. And later on, I'm going to go to my amazing accommodation, which I'm very excited about. It's like a houseboat in the waterfront. And uh, <laughs> I'm very excited about this. It includes a trip on the sea. And I'm going to invite a few people, maybe, to come and do it with me. And that's going to be seriously interesting. And down there, we have the National Gallery as well. The Company Gardens is the oldest garden in South Africa and it was originally created to grow fresh produce so that passing ships could be replenished. Okay, introduce yourself and uh, tell me about your store. Please. Oh yeah, my name is Etienne and this is what I do and I love doing this. So we had the jewelry store over there, me and an old um, friend of mine and um, 
COVID, we moved to the northwest, northwest province, and I came back and I started the business with a little bit still this size. And uh, amazing part is that I've been on the street till three weeks ago, since last year June, and I managed to establish a store. Our system sucks. It doesn't support people like me. It really like. Um, but you know what? Now I'm in a place called home, and everything is sorted out. So yeah, that's in a nutshell about me. So um, oh, making awesome it this. work on the on the streets. Absolutely. I've spoken to this guy before and he's actually a legit artist. That's legit original art. He's very good. Uh, go check out his stuff. He's awesome. Awesome stuff. Walking here in the CBD, there's this walkway down here. As you can see, all kinds of stalls next to the road, street positions, very pleasant day. On a day like today, you want to be in this city. This is the best place. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk down to that Indian place with the very affordable but delicious food. I'm going to have a little bit of a brunch there quickly. And uh, I also want to show you one of the tricks the street robbers do here. What they do to steal your phone out of your pocket without you knowing it. And now you know what to look out for. It's a bit of a carnival like atmosphere here today, very pleasant. So somebody walks towards you here in the center of the city and they have a backpack but they're holding it like this with their arm under the backpack as if they want to sell it to you, they're approaching you like this. That means they want to distract you and slip their hand in your pocket and steal your phone or your wallet. And they usually have another guy walking behind him that's his backup. People have tried this with me. Few, a few times and once the guy actually got myself and but I managed to get him back to him and I gave him a nice slap because he deserved it. Uh, so watch out for that trick. I hope you can hear me, it's a bit noisy, it's vibe in here, but this place you can get really affordable food, good food, huge portions. It's bang for buck, so if you can catch them and you want a quick bite, come here, big variety, really awesome. As you can see, it's very popular. I got myself lentils of the day. Comes with rice, salad, it's a big portion, and I bought a Coke for 70 Rand. It's a bargain. I'm going to show you the not so touristy side of the CBD but around here you have to be awake I saw a guy casing me out there when I sat and eat there looking at my equipment and uh, you know they work in pairs um, so yeah you have to be uh, careful here and be wakey wakey So this is the old square, I think you call it. Uh, this is the less touristy part of town. 
you can get bargains here. You can uh, buy stuff that is at least half the price, and they sell the same stuff in town for double the price. So, yeah, I bought some bargains here in the past. So, informal shopping, not as fancy and glitzy, but if you do a bargain, you can come here. Just watch out for the scallops. There's the famous flower market here in Cape Town. You can buy flowers from wherever you want to buy flowers. From. It's quite colorful. That gave you a bit of a vibe or a feeling about Cape Town CBD. There's one thing that's very irritating here though, there's a lot of beggars. So it's difficult not to get somebody ask you for something every five minutes and it gets on your nerves after a while. But so it goes in many big cities. And after this, we will. Uh, that guy just tried to sell me. Stolen sunglasses, I'm assuming stolen. And uh, from here on, we'll go to the waterfront, which is the opposite of this. A lot more touristy, a lot more fancy, and a lot more lani. But it's all good and all part of Cape Town. In the Uber, on the way to the waterfront, where I will be staying the next three days. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a nice one. So I just arrived at my wonderful house, both accommodation on the waterfront and this is my Lucy. He just got me and he told me what I have to do, don't bother the seal and I've got some nice um, stuff here, croissants with stuff on and sweets and I've got complimentary champagne which I'm going to open now. <laughs> so cool, I'm so happy to be here, thanks a lot man. You're welcome anytime <laughs> man. Here I am at the V&A waterfront in Cape Town, left to my own devices. It's not a big bottle, but I'll take it, man. And um, this is going to be cool. I'm, I'm so glad to be here because this is more like an upper class experience for me. I'm used to backpackers and stuff. And I can get used to this. So I think if I start making my YouTube millions, I'm going to do more reviews about places like this, definitely. We just go up from here, man. Cool. Let's drink champagne. Thank you to the people of Waterfront Houseboats. I really appreciate this. Cheers. I spruced up a bit seeing that I am in more fancy territory now after fitting of the crowd because I've been looking like a hobo so got a bit of a shave actually put conditioner in my hair actually washed with real shampoo so I'm nice and clean and I fit in here now I think but we haven't been out on the water even and already I have my first emergency I ran out of wine, so I'm going to walk now to the shop, take a little bit of the waterfront and get some wine and food. But this is not a full waterfront video, I'm going to do the waterfront properly tomorrow, probably. So now I'm just walking to the shop, getting some supplies 
and uh, taking a nice relaxing evening and just feeling out the space. Just a nice relaxing stroll to the main building of the waterfront, it's not too far. A few minutes walk, lots to see on the way. Entering the main waterfront shopping center building and I look for booze and food. It's busy man, it's bustling. A lot of people. This is obviously a very, very different experience than Cape Town CBD. Quite a substantial pick and pay, so we're looking for wine and a microwavable dinner. Because unfortunately, because it's a houseboat, you don't have all the kitchen facilities like in normal guest houses and stuff, so what you can cook is limited. But you at the waterfront there's a lot of restaurants and bars and stuff, so just bring your credit card along. My happy shopping space, a lot of wine, big selection. I really ate rain for 100 millimeters of juice. Yeah. Only at the waterfront, man. That was just a very tiny little sliver of the waterfront, just to give you an idea of the houseboat. How close it is to the waterfront. We'll do the waterfront properly. Not now, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Back at the houseboat, so the plan is to sit, drink a glass of wine, play some guitar, cook a simple meal, look at the watch something, go to sleep, and rinse and repeat tomorrow. I think I get this lifestyle, just to be close to the ocean, the sea has a presence, hearing the birds, it's very calming, very relaxing, and uh, we were told that we have to leave the animals that basking and sleeping and relaxing, the same as us on the jetty, just to leave them alone, and they're totally relaxed. I actually forgot the name of this animal now, for some reason. And uh, they're just lying there, he's just lying there and chilling and not even bothered by me at all. It's really awesome. I can just feel calmness soaking into me, into my very, very being. This is cool. Oh, he was there to 
really excited about it. I don't mind where you just see what you're going to do. Not a bad place to have a nice morning coffee. I slept really nicely. It's a good mattress, always important. Good coffee, always important. And I thought it might be noisy here before I came here. I was a bit worried about that because I like good sleep. And it was not. This is more like the residential area of the waterfront, so it's absolutely quiet. No noise at all. The restaurant area and the more commercial areas way on that side, so we don't have to worry about uh, sleeping here. It's very quiet, very peaceful. I uh, just sleep ready to vlog, and the sun is coming out on cue. Quite a bit of activity on the dock today. I'm gonna go out for a day for a long day of logging. I'm gonna show you what I can of Cape Town. Obviously, I can't show you everything, but let's see what happens today. Let's go. It's about a 15 minute walk from the waterfront to Cape Town CBD. Obviously you can take an Uber and there's a My City bus which I will get into today as well. I'll show you that side. Different ways of transport in Cape Town but uh, I prefer to walk because you see things differently when you walk. You smell things, you see details you miss uh, when you do a normal transport like in a vehicle. And Cape Town it's called Cape Town, so it's a city, but it's like a town. It feels like a town. It's not that large. You can basically walk to most places, and it's just a different experience, so that's what I prefer. And yeah, you've got the mountain on one side, and the ocean on the other side, and in between, you've got Cape Town. So it's pretty easy to navigate, and it's fun to walk the city. Behind me is the My City bus terminal on Adderley Street, basically one of the ones in the center of town. It's a very nice way to travel. You get a card like this, you put money on it, and you can jump on and jump off, and it covers mostly the whole Cape Town area. Cape Town itself and around, all around the area. So it's very convenient, it's safe, it's comfortable, and it's a good, affordable way to travel in and around Cape Town. The city of Cape Town train station recently just finished with a makeover, so I see it's a whole new section recently built, so it should be a bit of an upgrade. Let's go check it out. Cape Town trains, railway line, shows a laws of mail or whatever, has been in a bit of a crisis for quite a while. So at one stage they burned down. A lot of trains here on the station, riots and protests, whatever. Many of the trains are not running anymore. I don't know if they improved last while, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not what it used to be. And uh, also not the safest way to travel. There used to be a lot of robberies on trains. They put security guards on the trains, which probably helped. But I took the trains often. I never had any worries, but 
there were a couple of times I was definitely nervous. People checked me out. And you are a bit vulnerable on the train, so it's not the best way to travel. It's cheap. It takes a long time, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth the safety risk if you're a foreigner. So this is another area in Cape Town, a bit separate from the CBD, just off the CBD. It's called Zonnebloom, that translates as Dutch as sunflower, I believe. And there's a few colleges here, lots of students, lots of funky little places, nice food, um, little bars, nightclub, plural, and live music, I think as well. So definitely worth visiting. I like how these guys break convention. That's what I'm also about, man. Don't think in a box. We've got whiskey here, interesting whiskies, knives, camping gear, apparel, all kinds of stuff. They mix it together. Why not? And in the back, there's a great little bar. Let's go check that out. It must be Spider-Man's car. I'm walking up to a place here called Photo Hire because I finally have a little video job because I do media production as well. It's in Stellenbosch uh, Sunday and uh, you know I do little media productions I can do larger media productions as well actually and I'm available in South Africa or wherever I go to do your promo video. So check it out. Check the link out or the web page out. Okay, shocker. Photo hire moved. Photo hire moved. They're not in the center of town anymore. So they all the way out here in the Nindabeni had to take Uber. I'm waiting for the camera lens because the previous guy is supposed to bring it back. He hasn't brought it back, so I've got half an hour to kill. So I just walked next door here to a packaging place, very pack, out of boredom. And there's this balloon section here, and there's helium there. So I'm gonna do some free wild world marketing today. I'm gonna blow up a red balloon, put free wild world on the balloon, and tie it to my backpack and walk around. Because why not?
back at the waterfront and seeing that I have my red balloon marketing strategy <laughs> going on, I thought I'll do the waterfront now while the balloon lasts. But it's weird, it's like a lot of people are smiling when they see the balloon. Some seem kind of offended, others are nonplussed. But it's just a red balloon tied to a bag, that's all. And that's what I say, it's all mind constructs, man. You know, friendships are lost, divorces are made, countries go to war because of constructs. It's not real, it's just constructs. Tie a balloon to your bag, sing a song in the middle of the road, dance in the rain, who gives a shit? You're not breaking the law, you're not doing anything bad. You know, that's a big deal here. Hi, I just met a new friend at the waterfront. What's your name? Hi, my name is Nomsa. Hello guys, how are you? What are you doing here? Are you working here? No, I'm on my lunch time. I work by Green Point. What do you think about my balloon? Do you like it? My red balloon here? Yeah. yeah, I do like it. It's very nice. Should I pop it? No, don't. <laughs> Got a thumbs up from the balloon. Cheers guys. Cheers. So that's just like a big place where you can eat all kinds of cool food with a nice soundtrack. <laughs> so a guy came up to me and he said, uh, what are you doing? I told him I'm making a YouTube vlog. I think he's from the waterfront. He said it's cool. He gave me some, just a few pointers. Very cool guy. They were very cool about it. So I'm glad I unofficially, officially got permission to show you the waterfront. Obviously a lot of coffee shops, a lot of restaurants, bars, all kinds of shops, very neat, bustling and uh, yeah, if you want to pack a lot of punch into one small area of a lot of things happening and this is your type of vibe, this is what I'm doing today and showing you today. student is telling boss and the waterfront was kind of still blooming in the beginning phases this was the first place I had a beer I think in the waterfront and that is decades ago like three decades ago and it's still here and this is the first time I'm back so I'm gonna have a beer here just for all time's sake
say in Cape Town, it's like the Miami of Africa. There are so many bars and restaurants here, it's just impossible to show you everything, but uh, I'm just giving you an overview, basically. I'm not gonna lie to you, the mood has soured somewhat. The security guards are harassing me like crazy. After being traumatized by the security guards who's been ganging up on me, after I got permission, uh, I think it's time to go and you know a shopping center is just a shopping center, a shopping mall they're all the same, it's just shops but I think you got the vibe apparently you need a kind of a permit to shoot yeah I didn't know about that I got permission verbally but uh, yeah so I just got a lot of crap from the security guards and that like killed my buzz now but anyway they just put it down to a misunderstanding Right, I'm gonna try and show you some of the Cape Town nightlife. Uh, but uh, it will just be a little small part, only my favorite bar and maybe one or two other places because I can't afford to hang out and have drinks and I like to have drinks. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a little bit. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Cape Town nightlife. But I only want to take one camera, it's going to be this one with a 50mm lens, it's the best in low light. It's going to be dark and grainy and all shot in this format, tight crop. So I'm going to see if I can give you a vibe, captain vibe, evening vibe with minimalistic equipment. Let's see how it goes. So far, there has been a security guard every 100 meters or so, everywhere. The whole CBD at night is full of security guards and during the day. Some people might call this a police state. I say thank God. It allows me to walk around here safely at night, enjoy myself and film this vlog for you. early for that spot but it's got this amazing decor and later at night it's gonna fill up they've got two dance floors one below downstairs and one upstairs with really cool DJs and it's an amazing vibe you should go check this out for yourself when you are in Cape Town for sure
morning. It's a pretty gloomy day in Cape Town. Having my morning coffee. Went pretty hard last night. I don't come to Cape Town often, so if I go out, hey man, we party hard. So today, I'm not gonna do much except editing because it's not a great day for filming. And there's so much more to show you about Cape Town. There's so much more. So I think this will just have to be Cape Town one. No, program one or whatever. Episode one. And there will be loads more every time I come to Cape Town I'll make a vlog about it and show you a different part. But this one is coming to the end. Thank you very much to everybody who supported me so far. Still struggling to get my channel monetized because I'm waiting for stuff to come through. The postal service is not getting here. So if you want to support me, you can. And uh, what's going to happen next, I'm not sure. I'm going to sort of edit now until I've finished what I need to edit. And then I'll think about where to go next and what I'm going to show you next. So keep on watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, uh, a lot more exciting stuff is coming your way on this channel. Cheers. I stand here with a heavy, heavy, sad heart because the time has come to set the balloon free. nice thing about this place is you can walk down here the public goes down there and uh, nobody knows which boat is yours so even though this boat is pretty small there's a lot of big yachts around here and I can walk here with a swagger and pretend I own one of the big boats like I'm a white rap star in Africa and all those people can think I'm just uh, shit it's a good feeling man It's my last day in Cape Town. I still have a few hours. There's a lot I didn't show you about Cape Town. Mountain, beaches, so many things, so many places. So this will only be Cape Town part one. There will probably be a few parts about Cape Town. I consider Cape Town to be my home base. I don't have a permanent place I'm living at the moment. Can't afford it to be honest. So I am kind of just hustling and I'm being on the road. I am a full-time vlogger basically. And for those who don't know or appreciate it, it is a full-time job shooting all this footage, editing it, doing all the graphics and the titling. It takes so much time. It is a full-time job. But I also obviously do freelance video jobs and photography jobs when I get them for the cash. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to return some gear I used for yesterday's job in Stellenbosch. Then with the few hours I have left, I'm going to show you what I can still. If you're into pretty girls with not much clothes on, you can come here. No matter how politically correct the world becomes, this will never go out of fashion because it's called human biology, my man. Club Paradise. I've only been here once and that was awesome. Uh, very cool place, nice music, more modern uh, type of good DJs, a nice night out. Definitely worth checking out. I'm in one of the main hubs in the city of the High City Bus Service. It's a bit of a gloomy day, but I thought I would go show you at least a beach or two. 
uh, before I head out of town. Some beautiful beaches very close to town and that's obviously more for a summer's day but uh, at least you will see one or two of them even though it's not really a beachy day today and it's a Monday. And some of you might ask, it's my bus now. Will I ever show museums and stuff like that? Listen man, that's just not my thing. If you like history museums, this is possibly not the right channel for you, to be honest. I'm into living in the now and in the present and current life is so exciting and there's so much stuff going on. I don't really dwell on history and that stuff, it's not my thing. So let's go to the beach. down towards the famous fourth beach in Clifton, very popular beach in Cape Town, fully packed on a nice summer day over the weekend. And of course Clifton is one of the more wealthiest suburbs in Africa, definitely in Cape Town. A lot of uh, rich people obviously have their houses overlooking the ocean. So. If you are invited to a house party in Clifton, I would suggest you go. You can walk down from 4th Beach down the hill to Camps Bay, also a popular place also. A little bit more exclusive than most places and there's a lot of bars and restaurants next to the coastal road and also a big and wide open beach also a fun place to hang out in summer That was just a tiny little scratch on the beautiful face of our beautiful, one of the most amazing cities in the world, Cape Town, the mother city. There's so much more, art and culture, nature, a mountain, good food, all those nice things, but I'm gonna leave that for the next part. There's also this thing called First First Days. It's a very arty city, which is after the First First Days in Cape Town. I made a vlog about that a couple of months ago, and I'll see if I can link it up here. But that's it from Cape Town. I'm on my way out, and I can't wait to see you again, my beautiful, beautiful, darling Cape Town. Over and out. I'm here at Central Beach. This is one of many beaches around here. Oh, I, I see Annie, I see Annie. Ah, look, look. Beep.